something a bit different today. We're going to come a bus wanker. So um, <laughs> I'm going to do a linear route. I was going to go up Kinderscar, but it's forecasting 60 mile an hour winds on top of there. So we'll scrub that for a lock. Um, so I'm going to go along to Hathis, which is about seven and a half miles. Quite a lot of interesting things along the way. And then I'm going to come back on the old bus if it turns up. Apparently they're a bit unreliable. So we'll see how today goes. So head off through Castleton now. Um, I won't film that because it's too bloody busy and I'll catch up with you when we get off east. St Edmund's Church, Castleton, is a Grade 2 listed parish church. The church dates from the 12th century and has some 14th century elements. Alterations were carried out in 1831 when the south porch was built and the aisles were demolished. The restoration was carried out in 1886 by Hill Brothers of Tideswell. The Tower of St Edmunds contains a ring of eight bells, with the heaviest six cast in 1802 and two trebles cast in 1812, and are unusual for their light weight of 1100 weight while being in the key of E flat. Modern tuned bells in this key normally weigh in the region of 20 hundred weight. Mill at Spittle Mill, Spittle Bridge there. I've done a video on that before, so I won't bore you today, but um, put a little bit of information up. Didn't go too well if I recall, then it'll go bankrupt. But yeah, so I will uh, I'll link up to that video. Put up in the old thing. Um, I'm out of the place now, but I've got my wallet on me, so I just have to open it. My phone works with a card. Uh, what I'll do, I'll stop in Hope and see if I can just draw some cash out from the post office using my phone app and then hopefully that will sort me out otherwise I'll have to come back a bit early which will be a bit of a faux pas so yeah we're going to head down here now which goes towards Hope across the railway line and all that I've done this a few times then instead of looping back round we carry on to Hathasage along the river so we're going to follow Peaks Hole Water that then joins the River No and I can't remember which one that joins the Hathasage not the Derwent, is it? I don't know, I'm not sure, but I'll check anyway. But for now, we'll head off down here. It wasn't windy at all in Castleton. I think it might just be a bit sheltered with the direction, but you can hear it in them trees. That's a lot more like the forecast. 25 to 30 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour on the tops, and then the 60 mile an hour gusts. But anyway. We'll go on, crack on down here, towards the old cement works. One day I will get a train coming through here, I just missed one by literally 10 minutes or so I could see it in the distance. So, one day. <laughs> They come in here to the uh, quarry and back out, these big long freight trains. But not today. These uh, recent storms have brought a few more limbs off these trees. There's a fair old one there, isn't it? Got to see they're planting some trees there. We're up onto the road here from Castleton to Hope. Um, what I'm going to try and do then. <laughs> See if I can get some cash out using my phone, either through Google Pay or so I think there's a post office there, but we'll see if they need cash back or something. Because uh, otherwise I won't be able to get back home. <laughs> Not easily. I'm about doing a 15 mile walk off of it in the dark, which I don't really fancy doing to be honest. Anyway, we'll see what happens when we get down into Hope. That's just off to the left over here. Peter's Church Hope is a Grade 1 listed parish church. 
in the Doomsday Book records at Hope had a church. The current church of St Peter dates from the 14th and 15th centuries. There were restorations in 1728 to 30, which included the rebuilding of the tower, and subsequent restorations was undertaken by Alfred Hill of Lytton in 1887, and a further restoration was carried out on the chancel in 1908. The church has two ancient crosses in its grounds. The shaft of a sandstone cross, dating from the Anglo-Saxon period, stands seven feet high and is carved on all faces. The cross may well have originated in the church grounds, but from the English Civil War until 1858 it was hidden in the village school. The stump of the Eccles Cross, originally near Eccles House, south of Hope, is also in the graveyard. Well, talk about much wanker, total wanker. Left me wallet at home and can't seem to get me phone to connect in order to get my cars up. So I've had to do an alternative route now. <laughs> so I got to hope and I just can't get a signal. Uh, certainly no data anyway, so I couldn't connect to my bank app or anything like that to get any money out. So I didn't want to risk walking all the way to Hathlesage <laughs> and not being able to get back. So, uh, I'm going to head up here now, I'm not sure yet what I'll do, whether I'll go up Loose Hill or and across and down Hollins Cross. Um, got a few hours yet, so I might do, i see how I feel. If not, we'll cut along the bottom. Bit of a change to plan, but always good to adapt. <laughs> uh, the next time, just make sure you've got your wallet with you. I thought I had, but it was the X1. <laughs> so, uh, shame that, because I was quite looking forward to that. As opposed to doing a route I normally do quite often. But hey ho, that's life. So uh, I'm doing all right on the epilepsy thing. Had the 100 miles in 100 days. I'm ahead slightly at the moment. I will be after today. I'll be about 37, 38 miles, I think. So that's good. But for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be not doing too much really. Probably just a, well, the first two weeks. Probably not a lot of walks. My missus is going to be bedridden. But after that, I'll probably just have to go out for short walks I'll do some other different videos so if you've got any ideas comment below I've already put a post up on that and whatever but uh, yeah so that's the score with that so it's been the last proper walk for a while so let's see we we'll head up there I think and see what happens got Wind Hill just there you can just see it and then we've got Woos Hill there and the old Great Ridge so I'll see how I feel when I get there and then it's across the railway line there's also a nice little loop you can do right on the bottom. So I'll just uh, play by here. There's various routes off, and you can take different routes up a bit. Not quite so uh, strenuous as Lose Hill. <laughs> a bit of a brutal one, that is. But yeah, more a breath of wind in the valley. It was a bit over that far side, but if you look at the clouds moving, they are going at some pace. So um, that's the only reason I really done this walk. I wasn't looking the scale, but. Uh, one, I got up late, <laughs> and then secondly, they were forecasting 60 mile an hour gusts, which are um, sort of 40 mile an hour winds, which is not going to be great fun. So we decided we're going to head back around the bottom of the valley, I think. Yeah, not feeling Lou's Hill today. <laughs> Listen to your body and all that. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on around there. So it'll probably only be about a five or six mile walk as opposed to the seven and a half. Really gutted by that. But hey ho, these things happen. Crack on, still outside, that's the main thing. So we'll head off over here now down towards Lou's Hill Hall. And then we'll cut across. We might even cut around the bottom of uh, the Great Virgin Pam Tour come back down the old road or something. Some cracking views here. There's Wind Hill. That's looking down the Hope Valley. You've got to Saturn Moor and all that over there. And cement works, Bradwell's through that gap. And you've got Castleton. That's the Great Ridge behind me here. So yeah, 
lovely view of the Hope Valley there. This is a it's like old medieval risen furrow there. Won't be surprised in this valley. Quite a lot of history here. So I think I'm going to follow the road round to Mam Farm up there and back round. So a fairly low level circular route, but I'll add a couple more miles on, make it a bit more of a worthwhile walk. <laughs> if it was, I was only going to do about five. But hey ho, these things happen. Uh, we're heading down towards the Holliford Centre now and we'll cut off to the right to the bottom of Hollins Cross and then cross to Mam Nick and back down the old road I think and then play along Goose Bottom of Longcliff and Goose Hill so uh, here you can see the castle here Pepperell Castle, what I will do at some point is a bit of a tour around the village of Castleton but I do it about 3 o'clock in the morning doing summer with some ridiculous hour so there's not too many people about but in the meantime we're going to head down here now change of plan too many people out and I've got to try and avoid people for the next week so this is self-isolating before I up so I've pulled stumps on it so whether I've put this up as a film I don't know if I have then you'll obviously be seeing it now but if not we're heading back to Castleton now, so that's playing about a four or five mile walk. Nice little circular, low level route, nothing to shout about. But anyway, so we're going to head back down Mill Bridge now and head back home. Well, that was an unmitigated disaster, quite money. <laughs> anyway, back home, nice little walk. Um, I'll see if I post it or not, but if not, catch up with you next time.